foreclosures and it being a good deal. I, I think today, since there we don't have the same inventory levels of foreclosures that we did in 2008. So big corporations, when you have hundreds of thousands of homes yeah. um, and, and you want to get them off, you know, off your books um, and, and not have to worry about the uh, worry about them. Um, you're going to handle it differently than if you have a few. So yeah. right now they have a few, and they're what you just said. They're doing a very good job at managing, liquidating them because you know they're in the, they're a company. They they want to make money too. They want to get the most out of that, and they can do a better job when they have less of that. So right now there's there's less supply of foreclosures. The banks are doing a good job. They're generally selling right around market value and and as far as a good deal I think in today's market occasionally you can get a better deal with a home on the market that's a standard sale that's been on the market more than 90 days or 60 days because who would you rather negotiate with a big corporation who has zero emotional attachment mm -hmm. or a a, a a homeowner directly uh, I don't know about you, but I would rather negotiate with a homeowner that has a little bit of emotional factor to where maybe they're going to a different property and they're willing to, you know, negotiate a little bit more than than, than the flipping bank. Um, you know, a bank they're very rigid and they're very black and white of when they do price drops, if they do credits. A seller, um, you know, they uh, they could also be like that too. But generally, there's a little bit of you know back and forth, and you have to come to an agreement. So I mean, if I was looking for a good deal. I wouldn't necessarily only look at foreclosures. I would look at homes that have been on the market for you know 60 or 90 plus days, and and start negotiating, and having a conversation with them. And and sometimes the negotiations there's a there's a two step approach. It's one is getting your offer accepted, and then two is you know you got repairs, you can do credits, you could price drops, and you know after you've been in escrow a week or two. Um, and so there's a couple ways of how you can how you can handle that.